It's good to hear that you weren't sore from last time. 76-year-old Joyce Marr used to exercise on and off. I always thought that it was important, but sometimes I would sort of lay off, take a hiatus. Slow in, squeeze your shoulder blades here, good. These and days, slow. it's on. After Marr spent a year strength training as part of a study on the aging brain, researchers have found there's a hefty payoff. Exercise can actually slow down disease progression. By late middle age, most of us start to get holes or lesions in our brain's white matter, slowing down messages traveling from one part of the brain to another and gradually impairing our abilities. Experts say one outward sign of this is a change in your walking pace. And what we found was that, you know, in those individuals who did demonstrate um, less disease progression, they were also able to maintain their walking speed. Researchers insist lightweight training twice a week and increasing the weight over time can slow down shrinkage in your white matter, even after the condition has started. These women are happy to learn they can get a leg or an arm up on helping their brain. I'm glad to hear that. That's good for We've the brain. We've shrunk enough. We need that. <laughs> Okay, so slow up. Given the findings, Mar says there's no excuse for skipping a workout. Get your butt to the gym and get moving. That's what I would say, because it, it really does make a difference. I, I take a look at people my age who don't go to the gym, and they really can't move very well. Experts say this research makes a strong case for using strength training as treatment to slow down disease. And based on this study, the Heart and Stroke Foundation is funding a larger one set to begin in the new year. Christine Burak, CBC News, Toronto.